In the second part of the setup process, we need to make sure that the MIDI signals we are uh, creating in PD, Pure Data, are actually are received by Ableton. You see here that our patch has grown a bit. You might want to take a look at these, but later. Um, I explain all these objects in the third part of the screencast. Okay, to send MIDI signals from uh, one application to another, you can use on the Mac platform, Mac OS X, the so-called audio MIDI setup. Here you go into the MIDI setup, setup and bring up the window, window which is called IAC driver. Here you just turn on this device and that's it. Then you're good to go. The only thing you need to do is restart Pure Data and then go to the settings. Here select the MIDI settings. Then here on the output you make sure to select the IAC driver. Click OK. Then go to Ableton. Here you go into the uh, preferences as well. Here go to the input tab, select track or remote, track and or remote maybe. Um, and then we can use, you see in the log again, no, this one here, you see that when I press the button, it actually tells me, oops, slash one slash push one. Um, these root OSC objects are here to help us to communicate these OSC messages. You select, you create a new object which is just called root OSC and then put a uh, white, white space between slash and whatever the first uh, slash here reads. In my case this is slash one. So everything or all uh, messages which are um, let's say named uh, or, or in the so-called namespace slash one are moving or get behind this root OSC object. You see that I now have uh, connected the print object to to the root OSC object. When I now press the same button again, you see that the lock actually actually doesn't display the slash one anymore, but instead it tells us slash push one. So I create another uh, root OSC object which is called push one. And when I connect this one to our root OSC object, you now see probably guess it already that when when I press the button all that appears in the log is just one and zero. That's all we need. The many people already may might have noticed here that I have put here a number object which is uh, command three on the Mac and this is just to have a look at the values which are coming in from my OSC application on the iPhone. So when I press the button, you see that the number has changed now to one. When I release the button, it is zero. Now we need to transform these messages zero and one into notes. You do this because I want to create notes now, obviously. You need to put a special object here, which is called make note. The first argument here, one in my case, is the note number. The second argument is the velocity. You can also uh, create dynamically playing notes with different velocities by um, having a look at the make note help, which you can call by right clicking this object. Now we need to send our notes to that MIDI output. You do that by creating a note out output. When I go to Ableton now, you see on the top right corner here that our uh, MIDI signals are coming in. The only thing we need to do now is go into MIDI map mode, select the clip here, press the button, 
release it. And now when we want to start playing, we just hit the button on our OC device. And Ableton is playing. That was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> well, um, now you might not only want to send MIDI notes, sometimes you want to send fader signals as well. In my case I have on my page 3, which is because uh, that's why I'm using the uh, slash 3 object here. These, this object roots all signals which are coming in from uh, page 3, which are then rooted uh, from my slash fader 1. When, I have, when we have a look at the lock again, I hope I can move this guy here so that we see, yeah, this, this is good. So when I, oh, I forgot to connect the print uh, to that object. There we go. Okay, when we have a look now at the lock file, when I move this slider, you see that all the values which are coming in are from zero and very, very fine, um, uh, you see that I can reach from 0 to 1 over from 0 0.746988 all values I want. This is good, but MIDI expects signals from 0 to 127. This is why I put here this object called Auto Scale. This Auto Scale thing tries to figure out what what's the minimum value and the maximum value which are coming in and then scales it up to values between 0 and, well, 127. So when you have a look at this guy here, uh, the number object again, you see that I can move my, you can see that I move, can move my slider or fader from 0 all the way up to 127. The only thing we need to do now is create a new object which is called control out ctl out and it takes an argument which is in uh, which is the control number you have 128 controllers in my case i want to use the controller number 7 when we go back to live again and i go into the midi mapping and let's say we want to control this volume slider here with our our cd device on the iphone I just uh, drag it on my iPhone and when I leave uh, MIDI map mode now you see that I can move this fader from my iPhone. Isn't that great? I hope you enjoyed this screencast a lot. I know it took me some time until I got a new uh, more advanced audio tutorial out but I think Many people are waiting for this type of screencast where they are told how to control their um, MIDI devices with OSC because OSC is becoming more and more popular. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to have a look at my patch here, I'll leave it in the foreground and see you next time. Bye!